Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Classroom to keep track of updates to your students' Google Sites. Let's go ahead and get started on this process. So here I am in my Google Classroom, and I'm going to create an assignment for my students to update their Google Sites. Perhaps you're using Google Sites for digital portfolios or they're working on some other project. And you want to keep track of those updates without having to go and look for every single update yourself. So let's create an assignment. And I'll say to my students, updated pages for your Google Sites. And in my instructions, I'm going to say, please share the link to your most recently updated Google Sites page or pages. So I'm going to say share the link or links. And I'm not going to add anything to this. And we can give it a point value if we want to. We can set a due date. I'll set my due date for tomorrow. And I'm going to go ahead and assign that to all of my students. So let's assign that. Next, we're going to take a look at the student perspective of this assignment and how they can share their updated links with you in response to that new assignment. So here's the student view. This is my student, Mason. You can see he's signed into Google Classroom. And he's going to look and see, oh, there's a new assignment here with these directions. Right? So what's he going to do? Well, he's going to now go in right, to his portfolio and maybe he's going to add a new page to this. So he's going to add a new page and he's going to call it his week one summary page. He'll add it and he can add his content to it. Maybe he's going to just add in some text and say, this is my update. Now, he's going to publish that page. And he's going to now view it with the link for the page. He's going to take this link and use it as a response to the assignment. So his response to the assignment here is going to go to the little category. He's going to add a link. He's going to put that in there. We'll see that link as far as week one summary. He's going to add the link. And he's going to now turn it in. So he's now turned that in. Now let's go back and take a look at how I'm going to see this submission as a teacher. So as the teacher here, again, I'm back in my teacher page, my teacher view of Google Classroom. I can see I have it turned in. Let's go ahead and click on that. There's Mason's page. He's turned in. And I'm going to sign in to view it and there it is i can see mason's updated page and maybe i'll give him some feedback on it maybe i'll score it write a little comment and say please add some more information so maybe i change that score and make it 50 out of 100 or whatever score i want to give him for that and say please add some more information add that private comment and return it to him. So that's how you can use Google Classroom to keep track of updates to your students' Google Sites. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.